Hey, this is Glendon Cameron with the first session of The Power of Six. Before you can cook, you have to clean the kitchen. It's very, very important. You can cook in a dirty kitchen, but it's not as efficient. It doesn't go as well. And you it takes you longer because you have to redo stuff or do stuff before you can do stuff. So we're going to talk about that. But this is day one. Some of the things you will need. Paper and pen, my favorite. A binder, electronic device being tablet or your phone. Regular spot to be productive and five to 10 minutes per day. Let's talk about that. Initially, this is a new habit and it's going to come in where you are underwhelmed. That's the reason for five or 10 minutes a day. If I came out the gate saying, hey, you need an hour, you'd be looking at me like I was crazy because the most important part of this is the process. Once you nail the process down, the outcomes are guaranteed, virtually guaranteed. So this is, you know, the first day you already had the overview, uh, daily process guidance. And once again, about five to 10 minutes a day, I just keep stressing that because I want your mind to realize that, hey, you can change your life within five or 10 minutes. And these sessions will be short to the point and to or they're designed to move you along and to get you where you're going. OK, cleaning the kitchen. You look at that kitchen it's so nice and clean. Everything is where it needs to be. If you're hungry and you want to go in there and start cooking, you just start pulling out food and stuff and just start, you know, just start cooking. Just go right to it. That's how I want you to have your power six work spot. If you're going to use a desk or you're going to use whatever room that you use, clean it up. Take today to clean it up. Get rid of everything in there that doesn't need to be there. If it's junk, trash it donate it sell it whatever make your room as possibly clean as you can i know it sounds crazy but if you go ahead you get your room clean you get your desk or wherever you're going to do this and it's you'll walk in and you'll mentally transform i don't care what's going on with the rest of your day the rest of your house you walk in there it's like hey this is the place where i get things done this is the place i start to become successful understand this is about creating a long-term ritual. Once again, let me say it slowly. Do not think about immediate success. Think about the process. Do not think about immediate success. Think about the process. Because if you can put your head down and you go to work and you groom the process where the process is as efficient as possible and the process gives you things that are done, accomplishment, completed projects, you will get to success. Focus on the process. Believe it or not, 50% of your success is predicated on habit. This is why people who encounter large sums of money due to inheritance, lottery winnings, or some other windfall, blow it. Because they have the habit of blowing money. It's not the money. Money's a tool. And if you are not in the appropriate mind space to use that tool correctly, regardless of how new and shiny the tool is or how big the tool is, you will have similar results if it's a small tool or a big tool. Yeah, there was a pun in there somewhere. Develop a success process, and success is a byproduct of the process. If you look at the process, you make the process as best it can be, then the success will come. Well, again, I am writing a bunch of books and putting out a bunch of courses. People think I'm insane. It's part of my process because right now, my kitchen's a little dirty, but I'm doing it intentionally because it's going to be real clean real soon because I'm pushing myself to grow. I am pushing myself to do different things because this course that I'm giving you have done for 12 years. For me to make it better, I have to push myself and do different things. Getting things done is a wonderful element to add to your day. I want you to think about this. If you haven't really gotten anything done 
in like the last week or two, you feel like crap. You feel miserable. It's just like, I feel like shit. Because you know that you're capable of doing more, but you're not getting it done. So getting done is a wonderful element to add to your day. The power of six is more than the productivity. Once you begin to feel accomplished, many other benefits will occur. You will see them as we go forward. Improve self-esteem, higher level of confidence, a cleaner life and better productivity. And here we come to the action part. Like I said, we're going to get to the nitty gritty because this course is about getting things done, getting things done. First week, underwhelm to get you in the habit because if you can't do you put these two things on your list to be done what two things any two things you need to get done the first leg of the power of six is to get you a habit of doing more thinking less let me say that again the first leg of the power of six is to get you in the habit of doing more thinking less frequently we overthink what needs to be done and nothing gets done so this first week whatever i don't care if it's walking the cat i don't care if it's punching the kangaroo put it on the list just two no more than two because if you cannot put down two things a day, starting, you know, day Sunday, today's a cheat day because you got to clean up your room. You can start the day if you desire, or you can start tomorrow because today is the day to listen to the overview and get yourself ready. But if you can't put two things on a sheet of paper Monday through next Friday, you can't do six. That's like trying to bench press 600 pounds when you can't bench press 200. This is about developing a habit in the process. Stick it out with me for 30 days and your life will change. Okay, you got your mission. You have your marching orders. Make it happen. Make it do what it's going to do. This is Glendon and I'll see you on the good side.